Hello guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I'm your friend Suresh and in this video we are going to quickly see can we overload the main method in Java. So we will have a very short and quick demo where we will try to overload the main method and we will see what will happen when we try to overload main method. So guys, this is fourth video in the series. Before that, we have already discussed three other topics which are already a part of my playlist Java Concepts and Interview. Please do watch these videos as well. It will help you to clarify your Java concept and it will help you to answer such questions in the interview. And in this video, we will try to overload main method and we'll see what happens exactly. So let's jump to Eclipse workspace. And here I have a simple class called overload main method. And here we have standard main method and it's accepting a string array as a argument. And I'm just printing the name of the method like title I'm just printing here. So our intention is to overload the main method. So let me copy this and let me paste it over here. So as per the rule for overloading is name should be same but number of parameter or order of parameter should be different. So let's make some changes over here. Let me keep it as a string parameter and let's just print the name. Let's have one more method and maybe this time we can have one more parameter like integer i for example. Okay. So what we did is we have overloaded main method. Now if I'll try to execute this program. So I'm getting main string arg as an output because this main method got executed. But what about these two? So guys, there is one very important concept which we need to understand for JVM Java virtual machine. This main method which is accepting a string array as a parameter would be the entry point for your program execution. It will not consider this main method or this main method because because the signature of the main method is predefined for the JVM and as and when we start executing our program. So JVM will always check for the main method with this signature. If there is main method with some different signature, then it will not be treated as a entry point for the program execution. So that is a one concept. Second, yes, we can overload because we are not getting any compile time error, right? So as per the overloading definition, we can overload and we can have a different types of parameter or different order of parameter and we are good. So the answer is yes, we can overload, but it will not make any sense because JVM will not treat those overloaded method as an entry point. If you want to make use of these main method, then you need to call them explicitly. Main and this is accepting as a string. And uh, this is another main which is accepting as a string and some integer. So now if I'll execute my program, so here standard main method is calling other two main overloaded methods and that's why we are seeing in the output like these two statements got printed from the overloaded main method. So yes, we can overload, but it will not make any sense. We have to call them explicitly if you want to make use of those. Good. I hope you understood the concepts here. And this is very important Java question that people encounter in the interview. So that's what I had for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section in case of any doubt or any questions. Please do provide a feedback because your feedback will be act as a motivation factor to me and which will keep me motivated to create many other videos. If you like the content that I'm sharing on this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you for running this one. Thank you.